What's going on, guys, and welcome to another episode of Smash JT. You know, throughout this whole saga, I've focused on Pro Jared, and then his soon-to-be ex-wife, Heidi, and then we focused on Holly, but we haven't really talked about Ross, and that's because he's actually asked to be left out of this whole thing. So out of respect for him, nobody's been really tweeting to him about this situation, and a lot of people have felt really bad for him. And so for this video, I'm not going to obviously include him in the Pro Jared drama, but I wanted to make a few things clear to let you guys know it's not all bad for Ross. So Ross was the former husband to Holly, the girl who was with pro Jared and kind of broke up the marriage between Heidi and Jared even though Heidi seems to be the crazy one in all of this but there's still a lot to be determined and nothing is for sure except that all of these people are crazy. <laughs> as far as Ross is concerned, though, not all things are going bad for him. Yes, his marriage has been trashed because of this entire situation, but his entire social media life has been growing substantially. So it all started on May 8th when Pro Jared released this original statement that we're all familiar with by now, talking about how he and his wife Heidi are filing for divorce, and then he immediately blocked her on Twitter. And then a few hours later, it actually was the next day, May 9th, Ross made this tweet and has since pinned it to the top of his Twitter. Thanks for the kind words. Please understand I'd rather not get involved. I've long since moved on, have a new life. At this point, it has nothing to do with me. Rather not deal with this. Thanks for the understanding. I just want to continue making art and helping others do the same. He then goes on to promote a web series that he really enjoys because he knows about the nature of online drama and how this was going to blow up. And boy, was he right. If anything, he might have underestimated how much this is going to blow up. Tales of Ethereum is simply the best piece of visual storytelling I've ever witnessed online. It's disgustingly underrated, and the fact that nobody talks about it hurts my soul. I'm going to provide a watch order, so please like this tweet and come back whenever you have time. Sure thing. So then he links the actual web series below here and redirects the conversation to that. He knows the drama is going to explode regarding the pro Jared thing because he already knows everything about it and he knows what he knows will become public eventually. And most recently he updated a few hours ago saying, taking a break from streaming this week, have a lot on my plate and need a break. We'll be back to it next Monday. Holy crap, Ross, I could only imagine what you have on your plate this week and going forward based off of everything that's been going on. In the next week or two or however long it takes to get past all of this. So yeah, I don't think anybody's going to hold it against you to take a break every now and then when you need to. Like legitimately, this guy seems like such a good person. I can't help but feel bad for him and honestly, the entire internet as well but he even states here that he's moved on from the situation he doesn't want people feeling bad for him he just wants to live his life out and continue working on the art that he made previously and on reddit a few days ago they said that his patreon grew from 60 to 600 during all of this and I loaded up his Patreon he's now at 674 Patreons he does not have it public for how much money he's receiving but all this attention garnered from the clusterfuck created from pro Jared has benefited him financially and that is a good thing he is officially up over 600 new Patreons in less than a week 600 new people donating to him on a monthly basis have joined his cause in less than one week. That is insane growth. Also, in addition to that, his Twitter followers have grown substantially. If we load from May 8th here, he gained 186. Then when he made that statement on 9th, he gained 769. Then when it went viral, he gained over 10,000 Twitter followers. And then almost 4,000, then 3,000, and then 3,000 again. And then since then, another 3,000 plus around 1,250 today so far. He has been growing rapidly as far as Twitter is concerned. And then if we go to Social 
played for his YouTube channel known as Rubber Ninja, this is the same thing. On the 9th, it grew 4,000, then 2,600, then 1,600, then 1,000 the next two days, then 1,000 the next three days, and then lately it's been ramping up again. And if you look previous to that, it was kind of hovering around between 100 to 50 to negative. Like, he wasn't growing really that much compared to after all this drama went down. So while Ross is the good guy that got screwed in all of this, it's not all bad news. He benefited plenty on the social media side of this and deservedly so based off of everything this guy has been through with these people and these completely broken lives surrounding him i personally could not be happier for the guy every single thing that could have gone wrong in his life as far as the marriage did go wrong so it's nice to see a little bit of karma hit this guy in the other direction where it's actually good news and he's not all down in the dumps. I wish Ross the best going forward, and I'm so glad that he's staying out of the drama from this complete travesty of a situation. And from his perspective, he knows these people far better than all of us, so he probably realized to steer clear of it long before we did. I want to make one thing abundantly clear with this video though. His growth on social media Good for him. So happy to see his success coming out of this, rising from the ashes of such a broken situation. But by no means does this repair his life and make everything better. Honestly, I'm sure if you asked him, would you rather go back to the way your life was and wish none of this happened? Would you prefer that? Or are you happy that everyone's been exposed and that you've grown from it? Which one would you choose? I don't know, if it were me, I'd rather just go back to the way things were, assuming that they were happy and that nothing was broken and then living my life out that way. So it's not all great news for him just because things are working out on one side. It still truly sucks that he had to go through this. Anyways, that's where we find ourselves with the Ross side of things in the pro Jared situation. I wish Ross nothing but the best. I will be keeping an eye on this going forward because we all know it's far from being over. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, you stay smashing. smashing.